Today I will speak about one of the most important bands of groove metal, especially in the years of the 90s. Let's be fair, in the 90s, in the United States of America, the metal scene was not so uh, alive, let's say that, in, in this way. Many people thought that metal is dead. Until the beginning of the 90s, uh, in the United States, of, um, of in, the, in the United States, we had thrust metal, death metal, hair glam metal. But afterwards came the grants, uh, came, came the alternative rock, and many people uh, started uh, to, to 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 not listen to metal. So in these years, in the North America, we had especially two bands that uh, they continue the metal legacy from the one hand we had pantera and from the other hand we had machine head both of the bands they were the forefathers of the groove metal uh, some people will prefer to say pantera and machine head as thrust metal bands i am not i, I don't agree with this yes machine head they have some thrust metal elements, Rob Flynn and uh, Phil Demel, they were members of Violence, of the classical thrust metal band Violence before. But Machine Head is more groove metal in the beginning, afterwards also uh, they became a little bit more new metal. And they have some elements of thrust, but they are not exactly thrust metal, and even not new thrust metal as the Haunted, as a Hate Sphere or Darkane, uh, as like these bands. Okay. Machine Head started in 1991. They are from Oklahoma, from California, of Oklahoma, Oklahoma of California. And the leaders of the band where Rob Flynn in the beginning, he's until today the mastermind of the band, the guitarist and the singer, and Adam Deuce. Adam Deuce afterwards, uh, after the Onto the Locust album, left the band, unfortunately. Okay, and until now, they made nine studio albums. And I will try to make a worst to best list to rank their albums. And I have to say in the beginning that I'm not a real. Uh, uh, I, let's say that uh, I like Machine Head, but this is not one of my favorite bands. Okay. So, in uh, I in the ninth place, for me comes comes their last album their ninth album of them, of 2018, Catharsis. This is, unfortunately, a not good album, okay? Rob Flynn uh, went the, for, for a second time uh, to be a little bit more nu metal. But uh, in, in reality, even if I'm making, if I compare this album with Super Charger and The Burning Red, this album uh, is not is not a successful album at all. And unfortunately, uh, after this album, Phil DeMel and uh, Mac Klein left the album, left the band. Uh, Rob Flynn. He wanted to disband the band after, afterwards, uh, he, he said that he will continue with new members of the band. And in, uh, inside two, in 2020, they made uh, three new singles, but they are in the way of catharsis, unfortunately. Now, in the eighth place comes Super Charger, Char if I prefer it well, of 2001, their fourth album. This is more groove, uh, new metal and not groove metal, new metal with rap and uh, metal influences and some groove metal from here and there. This is a not bad album as new metal album, okay? But as a metalhead, I not prefer it. Now, in the seventh place, 
their third album of, two of, of 1999, The Burning Red, the first album of them that became nu metal. And if I uh, compare it to Supercharger, this is even great, great from, uh, from uh, Supercharger. But not the exactly groove metal uh, of Machine Head that, as we know them. In the sixth place for me now comes their fifth album, the album of the return for some people, Though the Aces of Empires of 2003. Here also uh, Phil Demel from Violence came to play uh, to the band. Great album, but also here we can listen some new metal influences with groove metal. In the fifth place, their eighth album of them, one before their last, Bloodstain and Diamonds of 2014. And for me, this is a great album. I liked it a lot, a lot, a lot. Even this is even more melodic, but I liked it a lot. This is my personal uh, taste about the music. Now, in the fourth place, and here these fourth last albums, they are the greatest albums of Machine Head. In the fourth, fourth place, Unto the Locust of 2011, also the last album of Adam Deuce, the seventh album of them. Great album, very great, great, great album. This is the physical continuousness of uh, the blackening. Great album. And now, in the third place, their second album of 1997, The More Things Change. Also, this is uh, the first uh, Machine Head album that I listen. Uh, I have also to say that many people, uh, they think that the, the name Machine Head comes from uh, the great album of Deep Purple, but this is not truth. Great album. Grave Groove Metal album. Unfortunately, until now, it is uh, under the, let's say, uh, that many people, they like so much their debut album, Burn My Eyes, and uh, they forget this second album. And now, what about the first place or the second place? Here it was not so simple my decision. In any case, in the second place, I prefer to put their debut album, their first album, Burn My Eyes of 1994. A great debut album, a great first album of metal in uh, all the ages. Great album, great groove metal album, I can say. Also, Chris Condos here played the drums. Here we have also uh, the great song, Davin song Davidian. Can let freedom ring with a shotgun blast. Great, great album. But uh, and it, it had so many, uh, so much influence uh, to the whole scene of metal and especially in the United States. But, 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 but. When I have to say, hmm, what album is the most important album? And I can say that many, many uh, people that they like uh, Machine Head, they prefer this album as the best album of them. But, and I understand this, but in any case, in the first place, I will put the sixth album of 2007, The Blackening. Here, here is the great real return of Machine Head. Here we have a masterpiece of metal inside the years of, uh, of uh, 2000, yeah, 2007 especially. Great, great album. So many riffs, so many ideas. Some people didn't like the album, maybe for this reason. But here we can listen even more some classical heavy metal influences great great album 
And unfortunately, that after a great album like that, this, and then, uh, a great album as Unto the Locus, and even Bloodstone and Diamonds, uh, that uh, Nassim Head uh, and Rob Flynn came with Catharsis. It's a pity. So, the, the, uh, this is about Machine Head, one of the greatest groove metal uh, bands of all times from Israel and from Jerusalem. Stay metal and stay heavy. <laughs>